Alright everybody, hey how's it going? My name is Zonga Sean Jr. and I play a lot of retro games. So uh, tonight I'm going to be doing something a little bit different in that I'm going to be playing some uh, Space Quest on PC. It's a game I've never actually played before to any great extent, so I'm super excited about it. I'm also doing my first like music stream, so I hope everything is coming through okay. You may, have, you may hear me uh, on occasion pop my... Uh, my headphones in or something like that. In fact, I should pop my headphones on anyway just to make sure that you can hear me and I'm not getting blown out by my music and I want to make sure that I can play music without, like, you know, causing infinite feedback loops. So let me pop on my overly expensive and noise-canceling uh, Sonys. These are real old style, but they are the most comfortable headphones. If you're looking for a pair of headphones just, you know, without a mic, that's uh, really awesome and standalone. Totally worth it. Okay, so that is super friggin' loud. Okay, hopefully it's still coming through okay. Uh, if you get a chance and you're watching, please let me know in the uh, chat if the sound is okay. Um, I don't really do song requests, but I do have a chat bot that I need to remember to turn on. And uh, there's so many things, and I swear to God, just running a stream is like 6,000 things in 25 minutes of John Madden. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to be playing some Space Quest. This is an original. Um, I do not, I don't actually own this game, but I purchased it on good old games, so technically I guess I own it digitally. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this will be fun. I'm just letting my, my chatbot pop in and get comfortable. This isn't a particularly long game, so hopefully I'll be able to beat it. I am using a guide in the interest of full disclosure, um, just because this game is an old-style 80s adventure game, so you really need to know what the heck you're doing. Okay. I think I'm ready to get started. Let me just make sure Donkbot is working. Okay. Let's get started. Maybe I can't start. What's the smell? Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Did my game freeze? Ah, there we go. Followed by an urgent voice that warns you that the Arcadia has been boarded by unknown intruders. Oh, crap. I'm guessing I gotta go to this way. Um, this uses old-style tech commands, text commands, so let's check this out. Look room. That. Stop. Okay. Oh, I remember what I'm supposed to do. I remember getting off the ship. That's about as far as I've ever gotten. Isn't there a dude that comes in here or something? Stop walking. Hmm. Uh, 
Arcadia is under attack. The star generator is in danger. Better leave if you value your life. Looks over towards the shell. So a cartridge. Astral body. I wonder if I need to do something here. Um. Look, computer. Okay. Look. Screen. And then astral body. It's doing something. I got points, so that's kind of good. these headphones on to listen but I just want to have it so it's kind of in the background so now what did I did it do it uh, oh do I need to see one of the fun things about this game that I like is that um, it's very specific I took that body of that thing with me. I'm supposed to go out this way. And we'll keep walking. Uh, look body or look man? Look. Um. What does this do? Uh. Inspect. Search. All right. So I guess I can go down this ladder for this thing. Um, can I go to the left? No, I don't, I don't know. Let me search these bodies too. so far let's keep wandering around I guess that's a good question how do I save um no I don't know. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, okay. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just moving stuff around because I have so many windows open at once. Ah, crap! Damn it! I love this. This is one of my favorite songs. Popsky does some good stuff. Alright, well now what? Now I died. Cool.
Ah. All right, well, here we go. One death down. It's also kind of fun to play old style with the keyboard. Keyboard only. Let's start that again. Oh no, he's injured. Oh, I need to move? Is that the problem? <laughs> That's funny. Again. Oh, what's going on? Oh my god. Why is my computer going nuts? Hang on one sec, sorry. Just trying to reposition all my windows because I have like 39 windows open at once here. Okay. There we go. I got it. So this was look monitor and astral bodies. <laughs> hey, Cupto Man, what's going on? Yeah, I uh, I've had this game for a long time and I never actually got the chance to play it. So um, I'm super excited about it because it's been. One of those games I've been trying to play for a long time. Uh, okay. Be prepared, though, because I'm going to die a lot, probably. So, let's be smart. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. I will definitely check that out. I think um, goodoldgames.com has all these, like, in a bundle. It's like t 20 bucks or something. It's like not even that much money. So I remember this part before I got killed. I've already died once, so good job. And it's Search Man. So I got that. I'll go down the elevator. Um, so I'm going to go right one more screen. <coughs> Excuse me. I think... I don't know, this is where I died last time, so I hope this isn't... Nope. This is where I got murdered last time, so I don't wanna- I don't wanna die. Let's see here. Well, I guess I'll just try this elevator and see what happens. Okay.
Yay. I don't think this is right. I don't think I'm going the right way. I'm gonna backtrack. Oh crap. Walk faster, dude. Must go faster, must go faster. <laughs> hey, Stock, what's going on, man? Good to see you again this evening. Playing some old style Space Quest. PC, like retro PC streaming, is something I have not been overly uh, into, so this is exciting because I've never played this one before. I'm gonna try this elevator. Yeah, I've I've kind of learned I've kind of learned from like futzing around with this in the brief amount of time that I have uh, been playing that it seems like there's a lot of uh, I just went in a big loop. Damn it! They're super fun. That's why I like it. And if there's anything, it teaches you how to be uh, smart with your saves. All right. Well, that was useless. There were a uh, stock. So these are um, these are uh, games made by a company called Sierra, and they used to do a lot of like uh, adventure games that were um, puzzle based and very uh, challenging. They also teach you to save like every thirty seconds because you will get killed very quickly. I wonder, if, is that like a door I can go in? Let's see. Can I go in here? Oh, maybe there's something here I can do. Yay. Let me just... Oh, that's so awesome. My first uh, game, my first PC was a an Apple II GS. And then I, uh... Got a uh, gateway when I was in high school that had a Pentium Pro 180, and uh, I didn't know this at the time, but uh, crap. Oh man, King's Quest are so great. When uh, I had my old Apple II GS, one of the games we used to play all the time was the first Leisure Suit Larry. Um. I guess I'll go east again. I don't know. Maybe this one? No, I'll keep going and see. Balls. But, uh, to go back to my gateway, uh, one of the funny things about the gateway is that the, uh... Sorry, I'm still getting used to playing with headphones. But, um... So I can't go that way. I've just, that's been, this that's been established. But, uh, sorry, with the gateway it had a Pentium Pro. Um, and one of the interesting things about that uh, computer chip that Intel made was that it's like the benchmark for all the dual core and quad core and i series processors. That was like the first one that went that route. Because there's no way to go. Alright, so I can't go that way. Drop down. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, but I'll try it. 
It's hard to remember this, because, like, the last time I played this, I think I was in, like, 7th grade. And I'm, like, 100 now. This game's... Oh, I just went in the loop again. I don't know why I keep doing that. The, um... The one thing that's really fun about these kinds of games, uh, stock if you've never played them before, is, um... They teach you to save, and save often, because you will die at the drop of a hat. And it makes the game kind of fun because you have to consciously remember to do that. Because it's not like a, you know, like a modern game where you have save prompts and auto saves and all that stuff. It's just, hope you don't screw it up. I'm just going to go, I'm not going to take the elevator this time. Because last time, that elevator is, is currently death. So I don't want to go that way. Also, gentlemen, uh, or ladies, I'm sorry, I don't know, um, Caputo man, if you are a man or a woman, I apologize if I'm offended, but, um, ugh. oh my god, I can't even imagine trying to do this with zero internet. I have a, I do have a guide, like, on me, but I'm trying to avoid using it as much as possible, so I have to use this elevator, I think. Okay, good, just, just double check, and I don't want to... I've already uh, managed to offend one person this week where they were on the stream and I, I said, hi, it's nice to see. I called him, I called her a dude and she was very offended. Um, well, now I'm stuck. Hmm. I should probably make a death count. Oh, well, no, I can go this way. But, uh... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give up and, and just scope the guide for a sec. So I took the card, and then it says, From the card, go right and then down the elevator, which I did. Oh. <laughs> Cleaning powers. I did get the card. And I do have the card. I mean, I th I'm pretty sure I have the card. Let me double check. Can I... Of course. Oh, and I'm dead again. Well, I'll double check since I'm here. Oh, but I was going to ask if, um, just to double check to make sure my, uh, audio mix is okay, because, uh, this is the first time I've done, like, music underneath the stream, because I noticed the game doesn't have a whole lot in the way of, uh, soundtrack. So, uh, if the music's, like, too loud or too quiet, just let me know. I did not set up a request thing this time around, but maybe I'll do that next time. So, let me just double check. Oh, I didn't take the friggin' key card! See, this game is very specific in what you have to do. I wonder if I can go down now without that dude being there. Okay. It's one of those like weird things where it's like my... <laughs> The, the headphone volume I have is like jacked to the heavens, but the audio that's going out isn't as loud, so I'll have to futz with it a little bit. No, see, there's still footsteps. Damn it! Did I take too long to do this? Um... And the guide says, go right. I'll read this out loud to make sure I'm doing this right. Take card, done. Walk right, which is where I am now. Down the elevator, another one, and then east again. Another one and then east again. What does that mean? Does it mean this, there's another elevator here? Because that's not east, I'm going west. And then it says, at the controls. Can you 
Confusing. You know what? I wonder if because I went down the elevator first before I went to... Before I got the card, I wonder if I screwed myself. Because this is a dead end. So, I wonder if I screwed myself. Huh. You know what? Let's try that. So I head back this way. I wait for the guy to die. Do I have to actually leave this room? Or does the, can the door open? There we go. No? Alright, never mind. I'm actually playing this on my gaming PC. Um, if you go to goodoldgames.com, GOG.com, uh, you can actually buy like all these games for like 10 bucks like they're so cheap and they're really fun I think I mean they're they're challenging but I think in a fun way there's also a series of games that um I really like called Leisure Suit Larry they're a little bit raunchier but um I think they're kind of fun they're sort of more adult themed okay so then I go here and I go look monitor Ugh. An astral. Is it bodies? Yeah. Yeah, they, they sell a lot of these old games um, pretty cheap. And I bought like the entire Space Quest series, King's Quest, Pol or no, yeah. Space Quest, King's Quest, and Police Quest series, which are all the same type. And then Leisure Suit Larry is a little bit more um, adult themed, but it's still kind of fun. Like it's sort of it sort of tracks the um, it sort of tracks a, uh, a guy who uh, is desperate to get laid and he goes through like this whole all these different crazy sort of experiences in order to try to have sex with all these women then it never happens because he's kind of a dork okay I'm gonna ditch my headphones again because it's just easier and I can turn the music up a little more that way. Just a little bit. Uh, okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, take cart. That's the thing I always seem to mess up here. And then I just keep heading this way. And then I have to look at this dude, this dead dude. Oh no, I have to search. Take card. So let me be smart. Down the elevator. And to the right. So I'm guessing this is the only other elevator I can go down, and that's what I'm, I think the guide is trying to say. That's one of the things that drives me nuts, a little nuts about GameFAQs, is that because of their old-style designs, I never can really tell whether or not what they mean. I mean, I, I'm a visual guy, so like I almost wish they had like visual like pictures. Alright, I think I did this. And then East again. Uh, are these... Let me try this. Uh, look. Controls? Uh, okay, so... Okay, so... <laughs> You're gonna be seeing that save dialogue a lot, I apologize. <laughs> um... And I guess I'll just head right. Um, 
Uh, let's see. I think this is the thing where I use the card. Cool. <laughs> I always have it up every once in a while for even like NES games when I play those. Like, it can be, uh, tricky. Let me look at these because these look kind of cool. Controls, maybe? Flight prep room. As you can see, there's a sign on the brick wall as well as two closet doors. Ah, okay. Um, let me try push. The. Okay. Um. I'm gonna probably need both of those because I think I have to go out. Um. Look. Closet. Take gadget. And then I need to take this suit, I think. Okay. Uh. I look like an X-Wing pilot from the original movies. Sock, there was a period of time where we used to have, um... I had a, uh, like a 42-inch TV in my game room. I mean, I still have it, but I used to have game facts up, like, all the time. Um... Push airlock. Let's try that. I didn't get sucked out, so I guess I'm doing right. So push. Cool. Um, I want to get in here. Okay. Maybe from like the side or something. Hey, Junkyard, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Ah, here we go. Um, so wait, I kind of remember, this is, I remember I have to close the door, because I always forget to do, I always forgot to do that when I was a kid. Done. Um, let me just look. There's window, there's a dark console before you, seat belt straps on the side. It does, yeah. It well it's it's sort of these these games kinda came out at the same time. I think this game came out before Commander Keen. Ah, that's what it is. Thank you, Caputo. I knew there was something I was gonna forget. Fasten seat belt. I also love how it's like a really fun demonstration of how bad I am at typing, so everyone gets to see, like, oh my god, this dude can't type to save his life. Um, I guess power? Push? Power? Alright, and then, um... Pull... Alright, I'm gonna guess pull throttle. Uh, pull lever, maybe? All right, look at this. <laughs> I 
<laughs> these graphics. All right, an explosive death. Um, I think I'm supposed to push that A button, which I think is autopilot. Okay. Just make sure my ish is on loop. Okay. Coming in for a landing. Oh, <laughs> well, that's going to be on my list. I think I'm going to try to play them all. Why not? Um, unfasten seatbelt. Um, let me just look. Oh, take kit. Because I'm going to need that. Um, and then exit. And before we go, save the game. This is the only part of the game where I heard it might have problems. I think I need to take that too. Uh, let's see. So this way. This part of the game I've heard sometimes has problems because if you stay in this area for too long, you you, you can die of thirst. But um, in some computers, because uh, the internal clock of an i5 processor is uh, faster than normal, it speeds it up. So like instead of just like the, uh, it might be in the survival kit, but I've heard that like if your cl game clock is messed up, it just like instantaneously kills you. I think I'm supposed to go to the right. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go down here. Hopefully it'll like warn me and be like, hey, you're getting thirsty or whatever. I think I'm just supposed to keep going right. This one, this good old games version though probably is okay because there there have been like a bunch of fixes for it. So hopefully, you know, it's it's the problem of having an, a game that was designed to run on a very old processor suddenly running on a processor that moves eighty thousand times faster. I guess. I remember some of this. I remember that there's something about this bridge. I can't keep futzing around on it. I remember that. Oh no, I totally remember this part. Um, I think this was supposed to hang out with this. Isn't this is the part with the spider? Actually, while I'm here, I'm just curious. Uh, look. <laughs> can of dehydrated water <laughs> good to know all right i think i'm just supposed to wait here until the spider shows up and then um
And then I think I'm supposed to push this. But wait. Because... You have to line this up perfect, if I remember right. <laughs> As we sit watching the animated spider. Isn't this fun? I don't think I can push it any other way, I can only push it down, so I just have to hang out. It's coming. Wait for it. At least give me a chance to swap swap drinks. Ah. I have my fridge set way too cold and now my drinks are constantly exploding on me. The stream brought to you by Yingling Premium Beer because it's the cheapest beer you can buy that doesn't taste completely like garbage. Oh my god, will this spider just come the frick over here? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Ah! Oh, son of a. That was, that was a test. That was practice run. Practice run. So I think it's where that like squiggly brown line is, is where I need to hit it. Mmm! Eat it! <laughs> that was awesome. I guess we're supposed to go this way. Oh wait. I should just really get a post-it note that just has like hit save idiot every once in a while. That's how it works. Skills. Um Am I coming? That sweet foreground effect they did right there. Sweet victory. Um, let's see. I think I'm supposed to like walk through this thing. The I think, um, book room. a rock nearby. Is that it? I think I can. Let's see. I don't think that I can. Ah, crap. Well, if you really know what you're doing, <laughs> which I definitely don't, um, I've seen videos that are like an hour, 32 minutes, I think is the fastest I've ever seen. Oh. I shall follow your directions then. As I plod trudgingly along. Can I go this way?
I am well past the half hour mark already. They do take a long time. I remember playing Leisure Suit Larry and it took me years to beat that game. No, I didn't see any cave on the east. Did I walk past it? Was I was I in a daze? Oh, you mean like here-ish? Okay. Oh, that right there, okay. Yeah, they could make like some hints. Hmm. Huh. Doesn't seem to want to let me go to the right. All right, let me go off the screen. <laughs> Man, this has been a week of Beetlejuice references. I've had like I was at work all day today and we just kept running lines from that movie for some reason. Uh, okay, so, crap. Um, oh, throw rock, maybe? Too slow. <laughs> um... That's okay. You live, you learn. Now I get to walk all the way back over there. Yay! Oh, wait. Isn't this the dude... I have to throw... I have to throw the water at him, don't I? Is this that part? I agree. Okay, now I remember. Um... Let me, like, look, kit, and let me try to see if I can say, like, take water. Uh... Oh, um, open it. Um, take water? Take can? I just have to, like, do it. Can try that. Look inventory. Damn it. <laughs> what they really need to do is have, like, a running list of commands on the bottom of the screen that can help you. Because there's, like, an infinite number of possibilities. When you think about it. Alright, so, first things first, so I don't have to sit through that again. Um, I'll just try it. <laughs> oh, I've died a lot, Miss Silent Hill, and thanks for stopping by again.
I'll wait for him to get a little closer, maybe. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, very true. I should make one for each planet. Okay. I don't even know if this is gonna work because I'm I'm just guessing. So I can be pretty pretty he can be pretty far away from me, I think. Rut row. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, and I got a shower out of the deal. Um. Is that something on the floor over there? Take chunk? Good God. Hey, Demo, what's going on? I am starting on a series of uh, Space Quest games, so they're these old style um, adventure games. Some of them are like text input, and I'm using the keyboard to move around. They're very old, but they're very fun, and very difficult. Because you never know what you, how hard they are. Have a very good night. Thank you again for all your uh, artwork help. Dimbo is an incredibly talented artist, and you should definitely check out her stream if you're into art streams. And she's working on some very awesome emotes for my channel because, um... Oh yeah, sorry. I can see that if you're a fan of, like, this style of game... If someone doesn't do it exactly right, it can drive you nuts. Like, I can't imagine someone doing a blind playthrough of this and, like, honestly sitting and, uh sitting and watching it because <laughs> I'd be yelling at the screen the whole time there's a dude I watched this guy do a blind playthrough of Chrono Trigger and I was dying so hard not to type answers in because he was doing all this stuff wrong and it was making me insane <laughs> hopefully this is the alright I can make it across the bridge I think it's funny that if you look at this game and Leisure Suit Larry, if I get a chance to play it tonight, um, their walk cycles are literally identical. No, no, it's not. A, it, please don't take it as a as a hassle. It's I appreciate it because, um, you know, that's one of the things I like about about playing games on Twitch is that you get like the crowd, you know, the mob mentality or the mob help because you, sometimes you miss stuff. Like even when I was playing. Uh, you know, uh, Chrono Trigger, I played that game a bazillion times, and there's still stuff that I, I didn't remember. I actually never did the part where you can choose to turn um, Frog back into a human, spoiler alert, and uh, I totally missed that altogether. And then someone finally pointed it out to me. So now I can go in the cave, I think. There. Yeah, there's some part, I, I don't even remember where it is, but there's some part where you can fight, I think you have to fight Magus, and if you beat him, he lets you, he gives you the choice to turn him back into Glenn or keep him as Frog. Oh. I don't think I took, I don't think I took the rock last time. I mean, that game also has like 50 endings, which I've never, I haven't done a third of them. Um, wait, I 
think this looks dangerous. <laughs> Um. Oh, how the hell do I remember that? And then I have to put the rock in here, I think. Um. <sighs> Look at this. Huh? What I should really do is set my bot to send to post a uh, an event like every 20 minutes to be like, "Have you saved, Sean?" Um, all right, let's see. I'm drawing a blank on this part, so I'm probably gonna die. No, that's not even a thing. Um, can I go up here? No. Of course, I have to make it look like there's a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of things. I think I already used the rock, though, right? Because I used it on the geyser. I don't know if I can, uh, Go further. Maybe I can go this way. I don't know. All right, I'm checking the guide because I don't want to die again. Uh, go. Sit. Oh, did I go the wrong? No, I was, I have to go the right way. This is go north to the back of the cave and left. But I did that. Maybe like left over here? I thought I went all the way north. I don't think I can go in this hole. Are you serious? Wow. Who on earth would have thought of that? Uh... <laughs> That's infuriating. People think Dark Souls is hard? Try playing this without the internet. You, there's no way. Alright, so there's this thing. Obviously, if I walk into it, I'm gonna die. What do I have? Can I don't understand how I don't have... Is there a way to look at my inner... I got it. Uh... You, uh, hold on. Let me try to get a little closer. Because of that movie with Catherine Zeta-Jones. With the lasers and the yoga pants. Um. Put glass in beam. Do I have to get closer? Put glass in beam. I have to type and talk out loud, apparently. Boom! Thank you, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Those yoga pants. I'm being a creep. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm supposed to follow this. Oh my god! Oh my god! That'd be horrible! For some reason, <laughs> those squiggly lines on the ground are making me nervous. Yeah, there's some crap dripping. Um... 
Um, guess I'll just keep going. Wait. Oh crap. Um Hmm They are funny. At least they make it kind of fun. What do I have? I don't think Whatever the cartridge is, I have no idea. I probably don't need that. I wonder if I need to use the gadget to make sense out of what this dude's saying. Is he saying the gibberish? He can't move, so I don't know what's going on. Ah! Well, and that is why we do this. Save me slightly behind. I bet I have to have it. I, I have to do something. I bet I have to do something with that gadget before I go in that room. But let me get into. Oh, son of a bitch! I didn't realize I was that close. I thought I had one more screen. So uh, let's see. <laughs> it definitely is. If I like I said, if uh, when I go to play. Leisure Suit Larry, it's it's really hilarious. Like if you've ever been one of those like out on the town dudes looking looking to get lucky with a woman, um, it pretty much it's it's pretty accurate and and really kind of sad. Um, aha! So there's a dial and a light. Turn. Dial on gadget. All right, I think I did it. With any luck. All right. <laughs> I'm make, are you getting sweaty <laughs> with the three saves? <laughs> ah, drop. Uh, or at part. It's very true. It's it's very true. It's making me nervous. Should I go forward? All right, screw it. Both old and new technologies. Oh yeah, one of my favorites is uh, I think it's five or six. Leisure Suit Larry, the one where he's at the the resort, La Costa Lada Resort. That one is like the same. Oh my God, so many things you forget. Like there's stuff in the very first scene that if you don't take it, you're screwed. All right, so oh, I can't really move.
This is one of my favorite songs. I'm not a huge like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog player, but this this remake of the Green Hill Zone is one of my favorites. All my stuff, all the music I'm playing, by the way, is just off of Twitch FM, and it's all DRM free allegedly. So um, hopefully that's like good and safe and not offensive to anyone. Um, let's see. Skimmers, hovers, There's a traveling surface. This is very important because of Grell. Oh, that thing! Nice. Oh, and also, thank you very much for the follow. I apologize for not announcing it earlier. I I didn't actually see the alert come over, so I don't know if I did that or not. So I will um I want to thank you, Caputo Man, for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, just to give you a little little like uh, background on my stream, I only do retro stuff, and very rarely, occasionally Destiny 2 because no one likes when I play Destiny because I'm terrible at it. Um, I try to do all original cartridges and all original hardware. Um, I'm a pretty big retro collector, and um, I try to do is like mostly like variety stuff. So I'll just play whatever. Um, and every other Tuesday, my cousin, who's sort of like my brother, uh, comes over and we do like a variety stream um, where people can like put requests in. I kind of set it up so like subs can put requests in, but if you put a request in, I'm not gonna be like no because like I don't really care because um, I don't do this for like money or whatever. Um, so, the, uh, book, console, that's all I do, I love it, actually if you want, um, if you're bored, That's a list of all the games that I currently own. So I don't. I tend to only play games that I own. I don't really like to use emulators um, for console stuff. But um, I've been collecting for an, a long time, so I have like a ton of stuff. So wait, I forgot what I saw. Cartridge slot. Put cart in slot. My Destiny stream on Tuesday went okay. Um, my buddy Dakazu, who I noticed like a lot of people were on when we were arguing, he and I had that kind of relationship, and I felt kind of bad because I thought people thought he was like troll. Like I had people message me like, "Dude, that troll was a total jerk," but that's like how Kazu and I are. He he and I he, we're, we were like best friends in college, and um, he just loves to. Uh, He's kind of a hater, and he and he really embraces that. And he's been playing Destiny 2 on PC and pretty much hating every second of it. Although he keeps playing it, so I'm not exactly sure um, why he keeps playing it if he hates it so much. <laughs> he just hates Destiny 2 so much, and I just don't care. Because, like, the thing about Destiny 2 is that you shoot aliens, and that's fun. And, like, all the other stuff I just don't care about. Like, I don't care that they're like, oh, this is DLC, blah, blah. Like, I just, I don't care. It's fun to shoot aliens with my friends. And, um, that's how basically that goes. But he's not a fan of it because he wants the game to have, like, everything everything possible for free and everything perfect. And I understand that, but I just respectfully disagree. Uh, progress has been monitored by others. I fear that blah, blah, blah. Star Generator, bibbidi boo Okay. Star generator self-destruction. 
Six eight five eight. For some reason, I need. I'm I'm typing that down. I know. I felt really bad because like she, I, she was like, she really thought that it was like a legit argument, and it really wasn't. Like he, like I said, we're like we're best friends. He just loves to bust my chops. Like he and I are, had an argument on Twitter with. Like, it was the two of us, and, like, the whole time we're, we're tweeting at the De the Destiny community manager, Deej, who's kind of, like, their, their front man or whatever. And it was, like, hilarious watching the whole thing go back and forth. Like, he was screaming about everything and blah, blah, blah. I just, you know, that's just our relationship. Wait. I'm getting smart. I'm getting, I'm getting into this now. And I made my fourth four save, Caputo. Just keep you safe. Um. So, look, skimmer. Um, enter skimmer. I'm in it. Oh, okay. And, um, turn key. Oh crap, I'm supposed to be doing something, sorry. This part's kind of fun. Crap! Good thing I saved. They don't give you much of a... Oh crap. <laughs> Ah. Actually, let me save now. So I don't have to worry about leaving the cartridge behind, which is the most important thing in the game. There's like no room. There's no room to dodge. What's the smell? Gotta use those fast twitch reflexes. Man, I'm failing. I'm doing way worse this time. Last time I wasn't paying attention and I was doing better. Oh, you idiot. Crap. Alright, I'll try it one more time and then I'll slow it down. Just, I'm paranoid. I thought I did that and then I saved it, but whatever. I'll just go. Let me just save it now. Enter, turn, key. I noticed last time I was playing this that there was very, there were a lot less uh, rocks on the far side. So I'm going to try sitting to the hide. I don't mind them if they're done right, but this one is just like, it's like super, <sighs> okay, so right off the bat, my, my theory has failed. It's just the problem is there's no room to dodge, it, and it seems like it's almost random. 
Like if the rocks appeared further away in the in the fort in the background and pulled towards, it'd be better. But right now they're like just dropping in on you. I'm hoping I can just like hide off to the side. Oh god. Alright, so there's at least three. Crap. Damn. Alright, well, enough of that. <laughs> That tells you how bad it is. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. That's as slow as I can get it, I think, right? Yeah. Let's do it on fastest. slowly <laughs> uh. the problem is that you drift until you hit the right key again and I'm not used to that I'm used to like you know once I let go of the right key it's done this is much better thank you very much for the advice because I definitely would have just sat there dying at this for like two hours Fastest, let's go. I got stuff to do tonight. <laughs> Crap. Still failing. Somewhere there's some guy, like, some AGDQ expert who's like, yeah, I run this on fastest, no problem. He just flicks his fingers back and forth across the keys and wins. Yeah, like, I can, I can understand some action sequences, but, like, this one is just, like, eh. Just dodging rocks, like. It almost makes me think in my brain, even though I know it's not possible because games didn't work that way, but it's, like, if this was a modern game, it would, this would be, like, something that would be lo make, letting you load stuff in the background. Like in Destiny, this would be like the when you're moving from one zone in the uh, on the map to another, and they had to fill something in so you'd be doing something while it loads. Or like paginates in the background. And it's taking forever, too, because now I'm doing it on slowest, so it's like a million miles away. I got serious damage over here. Alright. First things first. Oh, wait, and then... There we go. Um, turn key? Do I turn it off? Okay. So let me take the key. Because I don't want anyone to take my stuff. Exit. Skimmer. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say no. I don't want to sell my thing. It's the bar, of course. <laughs> Somewhere LucasArts is preparing a lawsuit. Oh, wait. Um.
galactic riffraff. I love this. Can I dance? Damn it. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in here. Because I can't, I can't, I don't have any money. And that dude left, so I can't get $30 for him. Alright, Stock, have a good night, man. I appreciate you stopping by all the time, I really do. Hey, it's the Blues Brothers. I could, but I thought there was something, doesn't that dude come back at some point? South edge of I'm assuming at some point I need to go talk to that guy. You know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm almost positive I remember what I'm supposed to do here. Because what I'm supposed to do... <laughs> because, oh crap, I forgot. Because this guy offers me money, but I'm almost positive that if you wait... Do I have to tell him no? Because I think he comes back and gives you more, gives you more money. I'm gonna let him leave. I'm gonna go into the bar, and then I'm gonna leave again. I think he's, I think he comes back. think I don't want to keep leave I don't want to leave the screen because I'm afraid if I leave the screen it's going to like reset it. Ah, here he comes. I will take this deal. So I think I need... Zipple? What the hell's a zipple? That's gross. Whatever the, whatever zipple is, I don't even want to know, and it's it sounds horrible. <laughs> that guy died. Um, now I'm buying another. There we 
we go. Um, I know. I think I'm supposed to just keep doing this. Can I just buy another one right now? Oh wait, I have to drink it. Can I buy another one? Getting hammered, bro. Interesting. I think now I can go. Play this thing. Come on now. Okay, so let me press F8. Hmm. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. New plan. I get to do this for a long time. I get to eat sand. I'll go a couple and then I'll save if I need to. Ooh, I won three bucks. I have an idea. Oh man. At least I know how that works. Seems like the VGA version is like, all right, save. Give me another eye. All right. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad they fixed all this stuff. It should be like Space Quest 1, we fixed all the annoying crap. Alright. I'm actually doing pretty good on this run. I can imagine it being like way more frustrating. Give me another eye, you son of a Don't do it. Don't kill me. Oh, you piece of crap. 
That is awesome. Eat sand, homeboy. Dude, this is exactly the same. If I die on the next one, then it's it's the same exact. Yeah, I can imagine. The I mean, like the typing part is interesting and it's like nostalgic, but it, I can see it's very frustrating because it's like if you don't phrase it, oops, my fault. Um, if you don't phrase it just right, it's sort of like well, no, I'll just start over. Like, if you don't know exactly what to type, I don't know how you would be able to, like, really beat this without having played a lot of, uh, these styles of games. Don't do it. This reminds me of that stupid bonus game in Super Mario Bros. 2. The worst! Yeah, that's true. Guides and whatnot, because there's no internet, so you had to pay for it. Don't do it! Dick. I feel exactly like I'm playing the bonus level in, the bonus stage at the end of every Super Mario Bros. 2 level, and still also not being able to get it to work. sinking <sighs> I live right near uh, or kind of near Atlantic City New Jersey so I know how these slot machines go they screw you Give me that third cherry Damn it. another diamond no come on big money big money Don't do it, Arkin. Why would you even bet a dollar? Like, what's the strategy in that? Oh, you piece of crap. Second, no, 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 come on. <sighs> I just need to like win and save win and save and go on or just not win and just restore it because this like game waiting to get it to work is just not going to work this is super exciting <laughs> oh my god These are those moments where you look at a game and you kind of wonder like, how did, how did like gaming become so popular? Considering the fact that like, this is so not super exciting. And who would sit here to like, do this gambling thing for this long? I know, I looked, I, I've looked at the guide and I know how long, I have to get to 250 bucks. And then the game breaks and then I win. But in the meantime, I have to sit here doing this over and over again. One more and I'll restore. Come on, big money. Ugh. 
I can't get past $159. Alright, there we go. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, you piece of... Oh, I was about to say. I, yeah, I guess it's the old school version of grinding. Where's my buddy Dakazu? He started crying about it. Ooh, grinding's the worst! Uh, that's how I feel about grinding. Makes me grind my teeth. Arr. Triple diamond, let's go right now. So. One more and I'll reload if I don't win. Come on, I. Oh, you piece of crap. Oh. Deep Entertainment, USA. One more and I'll restore. Don't kill me. Triple Diamond, let's go. Not what I want. <laughs> oh my god, this is so tedious. Don't do it. Triple I. One more, let's go. <sighs> Triple I. Give me them sweet diamonds. Yes. Oh. All right, one more and I'll reload. Frick, so obnoxious. Oh, I won that time, so let me keep going. Maybe I got the lucky streak. Ah. I'm getting, I'm climbing back up. Ah. Yes. Yes. Is that all I can have? Ah, uh, crap. Gamble 6. 165, let's go. Triple diamond! Big money, big money. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Alright, now I'm getting there. Don't do it, you dick. Alright. It is hopeless. Man, I've not gotten a triple I yet. I've gotten diamonds. Oh, come on now. That's twice in a row I got screwed on the last one. Shit is rigged. You know what? I'll do this. Gamble seven. Triple I, here it is. I don't remember what number I was at, so I'll just go ahead and save. I think it was a 186, but whatever. 192! Clawing my way up. No! No! I don't understand why sometimes a slot, like, pops in immediately and then other times it like takes forever <sighs> getting there
Oh my god, this is so tedious. <laughs> they both have their pros and their cons. I always thought the Lucas Arts was a little bit overrated myself too. Not all the time. Some of them are very good, but then some of them are not so great. I like the I mean, my first exposure to Sierra games was the um Leisure Suit Larry series, so the taboo level of it was what really brought me into it because I was like in fifth grade and like on the Apple II GS that I played it on, it had copy protection on it, but it was like, it would ask you quiz questions, so we could like figure, like we would go like look up the answers of the library, and then we would just sit there and go through it to figure out how to like get to the point where uh, we could answer all the trivia questions if we picked the right year. Like it definitely has like little, like sort of soft, Oh yeah, I mean, my parents were like super mad when they found out we, ha we even had the game. But like, uh, it, um, I just remember like, like it was still like kind of, like it has definite sophomore humor, like if you're not into like, you know, dick and fart jokes, it's not going to be super exciting um, to play, but like it's still really funny. I mean, just that one scene where he, um, just that one scene where he goes to the convenience store to buy a condom, oh my god, it's so funny. And like all, like when the guy like announces out to everyone like what the, um, what all the things you picked were, and like he always says extra small and like all these people appear from like out of the corner at all the things, oh my god, it's so funny. Yeah, that one isn't as, they, they kind of go up and down with their, their quality. Oh my god, it finally happened. I got triple eyes. I'm so friggin' close. Yeah, I didn't like two as much as three. Five, I think, is the one I like the most. That's the one, if that's the one I'm thinking of. It's where you're in a, in a, a hotel. Oh my god. So many funny things you can do. Oh, you piece of crap. Stop it with this. I want to win. Damn it, let me win. I don't remember much about six or seven. I don't. That could be good or bad. Yes, finally. Gipazoid novelties. Let's think before we go. And then after like, I think after seven was where I kind of like stopped. Not because it was bad, but it was just like, eh. And then they got like into the modern ones, like Summa Cum Laude and all those ones. I never really played any of those. I, I think I kind of stopped around where they got into Love for Sale, because I thought, I don't know, they just kind of got a little tired. Um, I think I'm supposed to go more. In this way, maybe? Well, I do have 250 bucks, or buckazoids.
Uh, so let me buy robot. This guy follows me. All right, cool. I think I can go buy a ship now, because I'm pretty sure I need the droid for the ship. Wait. And then I have to go down, I think. Oh, I gotta buy it, so, um, buy ship. Push button. Um, that's that thing. So sector H H. Swipe that dude ship. That's so awesome. I love it. Oh, look at this sweet ass cutscene. Oh god, is there another thing? I don't have to dodge this crap, do I? Oh god. Please no. Oh no, he's doing it. Good. <laughs> Very well, robot. Make it so.
inventory. Ooh. Where? Jet pack? I guess open ship. I'm getting there. Just do this. Open door. I can just walk through. Open the door. <laughs> um. Open your lock. The type fail. Damn it, and I didn't save in a long time. Son of a bitch. That's alright, this is easy enough. Damn it! Save, fail. Right there, save, fail. <laughs> At least I know what to do, this part's pretty easy. On, you fat slob, let's go. It's true. It is very true. So buy ship. And then climb ladder. I kind of remember this. And then push button. And blast off to the wild beyonders. Sector. Haha. -ha. Sector. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, my ship? Can I save now? Let's just do it. Gotta keep those saves going. Okay. Do your thing, robot.
Oh, this is my favorite one of my favorite songs. Why is this chair on? People come down here and fuss with my gaming stuff. It makes me nuts. Oh, no, 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 I was saying people were messing around with my, my chair. It's, I have a, I have a 19 month old, no, a 20 month old at home. And, uh, I love him to death, but he's always futzing around my stuff. And I'm not used to it, because I'm an only child. Crash Man is definitely one of my favorite songs of all time. The thing that's so great about it, that people don't catch is that the, um, what am I trying to say? The, uh, the thing that's so cool about it is as you go through the level, you're constantly ascending, and that's how the music sounds. It's constantly going up, and I always thought that was such a little genius, subtle genius move by the composer. I was a music major in college, so I always, like, super appreciate stuff. This door opens, and I think I can get just run past this guy, maybe. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a it's a style of composition they used they they used to call it text painting, where when a composer would like take the text of a piece of music that they were uh, composing and they would like if the song had the word crash they would use like a crash sound or something like that to make an to to sort of intertwine the music with the text and it's sort of the same thing, where it was um the song like inter is is intertwined with the idea of like constantly ascending and constantly moving up. That I mean that I mean Mega Man Two in general is like. You could do a dissertation on the compositions in that game. Um, look, let me try looking now. It is really one of my favorite games. I'm I I'm not a speedrunner, as you can tell by my current skills with this game, but um, uh, BB Trunk. I don't know. Cool. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. So Nintendo 64 is one of those systems I kind of skipped as a kid, so I I don't collect very much for it. But it like with Mega Man 2, it's like there isn't a bad. I mean, there are very there are very few songs I don't like on that that game. The other one that I like is um, uh, Jackal is one of my favorite NES games ever, and I think the soundtrack for that is just great. I think it's a criminally underrated NES game. I really do. I think it's Contra level. Aw, oh, man. It is, it takes some time, but once you get, like, used to it, it becomes easy, because one of the things, if I can give you a pro tip, pro tip, because I'm, like, a pro gamer, right? Um, oh, very cool. Yeah, I have a lot of those. <laughs> but one of the things that we learned, my cousin Brett is, uh, is, like, a jackal master, and one of the things he learned is that the bullets... And the projectiles, like the grenades and the missiles, almost have the same amount of damage. So a lot of times, if you just use the gun, you can do way more damage to bosses and stuff. Like this. What is this? Window? I'm in Um... 
washer. Open machine. And do I do I get in? Yeah, like the one there's that one um jackal in jackal there's that one part where you're fighting that big ship. Um it's like the fourth third or fourth level. So easy with the gun because you can just destroy all the turrets like super fast. <laughs> wah, wah. Um, exit machine. Oh, look at me. I guess I can wander around now. Wait, wait. That's what um I got from point that the first room to the second one. I got in it and it transported me over there, but I lost my jetpack in the process. Um let's see. Look man. I kind of, there's something about this part I remember. I think I'm supposed to talk to this dude. I think I just have to keep bothering him. Ah, there it is. I remember that someone told me that there's a King's Quest Easter egg in here. Um. I think I screwed this up. I think I screwed that up, so let me go back. I know I'm supposed to talk to this dude, and he's supposed to ask me something about King's Quest, and I'm supposed to answer yes. There you go. <laughs> and then I think it's just... Um... I don't know why I had to do that. It just, I guess it's just 
one of those weird things to get points. <laughs> I don't know, I'll just guess. Let's take this elevator, I guess. And up we go. I think I was supposed to just keep going to the right. I kind of remember this. Yeah, this is the part where I have to do something. I have to get a grenade. Um, talk droid? Uh, let's see. This seems like I'm gonna die, so... You must make as many saves as possible. Book counter? Take grenade? ID card. Okay. I don't have an ID card in my inventory. But I'm wearing a uniform. Cool. Uh, show ID card. And I have to grab the grenade. Okay. That's going to be a problem. F6 does not... <laughs> F6 is my play button on my thing. So can I turn that off? No. Um, hang on one second. I need to disable my function keys.
Okay. Sorry about that. The joys of having a multi-faceted keyboard. Um. Look. Oh, there's a star generator. What if I did... I know I can't shoot. I know if I shoot, I die. I remember that. Cool. Very close. Very close. I bet I need to do this. I need to take another grenade. I remember. I remember having to use two grenades. This is. This part's the most familiar to me, or most memorable. Go faster. Go faster. Okay, see ya. Constantly save. It's a Sierra game, so you're just gonna be used to seeing that save screen. My contacts are going berserk. I know at this point I have to be able to shoot. Um, I think I'm supposed to just go down to the pulse, the, the this thing. What the hell am I supposed to do? Leave me alone. Crap. Uh, let's. I'm trying to remember what to do. So I can't go down. I don't think I can go down there. I need to get to that star generator, but I don't know how to get past those robots. That's the problem. Right now, at least. I didn't see one. I don't understand how your your helmet ends up in the elevator, but you go in the elevator. I think the robot showed up because I, went, I took too long because I was futzing around. That's what my guess is at the moment. Yeah, see, there's no robot this time. I think I took too long.
Okay. Push button. I don't know, there's not much else I can do. Um Look generator. So I'm playing this, it reminds me of that movie Big, where he's playing I don't remember what game it was, but I just remember throw thermal pod. Look control panel. Oh crap, what was that number? It was I put it on my phone. 6858 Okay, how do I do I leave? If that's the right number or not, it doesn't matter. Shoot. Can't go that way. I don't think there's a door over here, is there? I can't go to the right, can I? No. I'm just gonna have to run, I guess. Because I think I have to go down that elevator. Because that's the only way I can go. Shoot! Twelve. It's sixteen, bro. Okay, this time nothing. It's good. I can't shoot those robots, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Come on. <sighs> I think I just need to get back to the ship, but the problem is, is that I can't... I don't have any way to kill those robots, because my gun doesn't do anything against them. So I think I just have to... it's just random luck of the draw. That man, I cannot get a shot off against those guys. It's just luck. I guess it's luck of the draw whether or not I get robots or aliens. take this one and then there's the ship uh look ship enter ship look Button. 
All right. I think I just beat it. I didn't get a perfect score, though. That's disappointing. Thank you very much, and thank you for all the advice, Caputo Man. I really appreciate it. Ugh. That was really fun. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed that I never really played that game to any extent before. I mean, I played through it once when I was in like sixth grade, but I like it wasn't. I don't remember taking my time in it. Super fun. <laughs> Stolen from Star Wars. <laughs> the applause sign. That's so classic. Okay. Oh, I'm looking at the guide that I had up, and I didn't get the last three points because I didn't manage to shoot a guard. That's what it was. Shoot. Oh well, I don't care that much. I'm not a perfectionist. That is a sound combination right now. Yeah, the game's beat. <laughs> that's how I play all of my... Uh, I'm just going to turn my music down for a minute. The That's how I play all of my uh, NES games. It's, you know what? The game's beat. If it took me four hours, it took me four hours. One of my favorite playthroughs of all time... Because um, we used to... My cousin and I used to have a pretty big YouTube channel. We It's still big. It's just we don't... I don't spend as much time on it as I do anymore. Like, I haven't done a video in, like, months. Although, that's going to change, because I'm going to start porting some of my playthroughs um, over there. But we used to do a show called Retro Wednesdays. And every Wednesday, we would just come over, hang out, grab dinner, and we would sit down and play through um, a game or two with the intention of trying to beat it. And we're not, you know, speedrunners. We're not pro gamers. We're just people who love Nintendo and have played for a long time. So... We would take like forever to beat games, and I still remember one of my favorites of all time was we beat Predator for the NES, and it was like 1.30 in the morning, we'd been slugging through it for hours, and like the feeling of elation when I finally beat that game was so over the top, but then it was kind of funny because people were like, yeah, you know people can beat that in like 30 minutes, and I was like, I don't care because I earned my, my playthrough of that game, I earned it with blood and pain and sweat. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the entire human race. I also love how this game's so classic that none of the text is really like signed, like lined up centered. It's always kind of like slightly off on some sides and some some other ones. It's pretty awesome. Well, anyway, it is one o'clock in the morning, so I think I'm going to call it a night um, because my darling son will be up in roughly five hours because he never really sleeps past six, and I'm going to need to spend. Uh, get some rest, because he is a handful. A good handful. Um, want to say thank you to everybody who came out to take a look. Also, um, <laughs> I'm going to mess these name, mess this name up, but uh, the uh, I want to give a special shout out to Caputo Man one not only for hanging out in the stream most of the evening and for giving me tips on how to beat this crazy game, but also uh, Waluifu. She is a gamer that I met on a Facebook page. Um, we were talking about playing retro games, and she does a lot of PS2 stuff. Um, so I've been sort of like watching some of her previous recorded stuff and it looks pretty cool. So you might want to check her out. Um, and also to like all my regulars, Stocklock, Demo, um, even my buddy Doc Kazoo who didn't come by tonight to yell at me about how much he hates Destiny 2 and everything else in life. Um, 
But yeah, I'm going to call it a night. Tom tomorrow's usually the worst night possible for me to stream, so I doubt I'll be on. But I have a feeling I might be attempting to add a Sunday night stream to my schedule. Um, and I might be looking at Leisure Shoot Larry, because now that I've played one of these, I kind of have a hankering to play through all of them. And maybe I'll just be the Sierra Online playing guy for a little while. Um, because, I don't know, the SNES RPG library that I have at my disposal right now does not interest me. Um, the only other one is, like, A Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, because for some reason I've never actually played all the way through that. But for some reason, every time I start to look into it, I kind of go, Ugh. And, um, the other one is Snake's Revenge, but I don't know if anybody would even be interested in watching that, because it's, like, a B-movie, a B-version of a Metal Gear game, although I think it's actually one of the better ones for the NES, but whatever. Um, anywho, thank you again for taking the time to watch. Always appreciate it. We do this totally for fun. I don't sit there and beg for follows and subs. That's not my thing. Um, so I have a feeling you will be seeing me Sunday night, um... Because I don't really have anything else to do on Sunday. Uh, to, to play through some Leisure Suit Larry. And uh, next week will be Space Quest 2 through whatever. And I'll just keep trying to go through them all until I finish all of them. So thank you very much. Have a great night or great morning. And until next time.